Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, second angel's message in the book of Revelations. Um, chapter 14, verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon has fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her for fornication. Babylon of course, uh, if you look at Genesis chapter 11, that was the first time that Babylon came into existence in Scripture. First time under Nimrod. But the thing, you know, the kingdom had its ups and downs throughout the course of biblical history. And uh, then it was uh, Nebuchadnezzar who came and, and enslaved the Jewish people. Babylon came, took him away, destroyed the temple, and uh, that was the history of that, even though later on Babylon was uh, overran and defeated by the Medes and the Persians, but Babylon has come and gone, it's, it's still today Babylon, and Babylon means confusion, that's uh, because of the one language was confounded by Yahweh, and it, all confusion went around when they was building the Tower Tower of Babel, and everybody went their own way. Anyways, for that for that verse, I encourage you guys to also look up the Book of Jeremiah, chapter fifty one eight, and in Revelations go to uh, eighteen to, uh, verse two, and and then skip over to the verse twenty one. But Babylon is alive and well today. And Dan Daniel talks about this. Daniel talks about this too. You know, about the four world ruling kingdoms. And Nebuchadnezzar was the head of gold. I'll get in I'll get into that in another episode, of course. But um Babylon Babylon's gonna fall again. And um uh, there's a lot of speculation of who Babylon is, you know, the most common the most uh, notorious and the most famed is uh, the Roman Empire. You know the the that's still sort of sort of dead right now. But it's not the spirit of the Roman Empire is not gone. Because the Europeans, you know, there's stories, there's times here and there that certain leaders or even the Pope calls a resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire. That's the most common one. I've heard others of uh, it's Islam and you know. Uh, other others, but uh, point being is Babylon is going to fall. It's a great city. It's going to fall. You know, when the time comes, uh, the last resurrection, the seventh resurrection, it's going to fall. Satan's Satan's behind all this rebellion and everything. He's going to have his angels and his his hosts. You know, human hosts and angelic hosts try to fight against Yeshua and the saints and his hosts. You know. But uh, this is the this is the message. This is the this is the dire message of the second angel's message. It's warning, you know. It's it's going to fall, you know. And these people that so a lot of them are going to be deceived. Others are going to be following the beast man out of uh, necessity and a sense of survival, you know. Because if you start starving and everything, people usually uh, do anything to get, get their stomachs full or have money to buy things, not just needs, also wants too. You know, people have these high lux luxurious um, lifestyles and everything, you know, plus technology, you know, Pe people can't go without technology, you know, I mean, you know, smartphones, the internet access, all kinds of things. So it's not just the necessities, but it's the wants too. And the angel here says, Babylon, is fallen, has fallen, is fallen, and uh, that's a comfort because Babylon has has brought misery, pain, and destruction throughout human history, in one form or another. The original Babylon, Neo Babylonianism, and the future Babylon, they all brought the same. They're in the same spirit. A little bit different here and there, but the spirit is still the same. And 
And I'm thankful that Yahweh and Yeshua, you know, will be there for us. We're going to need them because times are coming. The Great Tribulation, it's it's coming. You know, you can you can hear it. You can feel it in the wind. It's coming. Just watch, watch on the news. Watch how things are getting out of shape, out of hand. And we need to we need to heed the warning of the 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 second all the angels really the first second and third angel we need we need to heed, heed the warnings and um, have that Holy Spirit and have that faith and do what is pleasing in the sight of Yahweh that's what we need to do and um, I thank you again for uh, tuning in to me you know this is an important important end time end time warning and we need to heed it follow it and we need to spread the word around the best we can there's going to be most people that won't even care they think you're speaking greek to them they won't understand you they don't care but at least you're doing your part being a watchman like ezekiel the watchman you you got to be the watchman and you got to you know sound the alarm the trumpets you know the chauffeur you got to you got to blast you got to blast that warning the best you can and pray pray for every human being because we was we're, we're duty bound to to love our fellow man and our neighbor and um with that said and done i want to thank you and please like and subscribe and hit notification bells comment below um share this video with anybody and everybody you can and uh, with that said and done i thank you i thank you very much peace out and shalom